been doing some stopping stop tests. We're gonna see what we can uh, shorten up our stopping distance. We're gonna do the old VW Volt RX7 uh, upgrade. Show you how to do that, and come back later and see if we can improve on these these distances. So we got our new brake discs ready to go on. Slide them into position. And we find out that they're rubbing the guard on the back side. So we're going to have to clearance it a little bit. It looks like it's rubbing right in through here. So we're just going to gently bend it out of the way. show you the difference in the in the calipers here. This is your factory caliper. It's a slide pin style with a single piston. Um, they work really well with like your stock engine but I found you know switching to manual brakes and the V8 and the power it's just not not enough and um, kind of the the cost effective way of upgrading this is the VW and the RX-7 upgrade. Um, this caliper is all cast iron and weighs a ton. The RX-7 caliper that we're, we're swapping to is aluminum caliper. I, I don't know the exact weight, but it's probably half of what that thing is. And it's a four piston caliper. There's a piston, two pistons on each side, so you have more clamping, clamping force. That's the difference where the whole purpose of this really. Okay, so here's our bracket that you uh, have to use to adapt. You can buy these. There's a lot of people online that sell them. Um, you can buy a full kit that has your brackets and your brake line adapters and bolt everything up. Um, I got a friend that's got a CNC machiner, uh, Tony, you've seen him in a few episodes. He cut these out real quick for me for next to nothing. So it's basically, you can get the plans online. It's basically you just have your, your BMW bolt pattern is the inner ones and then the outer ones to match your RX-7. Really simple bracket. It just needs to be milled out a little piece. So um, they bolt on something like this on the front side of the bracket. So as you can see, we got a piece of dust shield here and a piece of dust shield here. All this is in the way. So we're going to take our handy dandy Motabo here and take a, take a line and just cut this all out because it'll be in the way of the new caliper anyways. With everything clearanced out, we're going to go ahead and bolt everything up. Get everything started, then we'll tighten them up. Not with everything not clearance. We will, we will not do that. We will try it again. Clearance. <laughs> Let's try this again. All right. With everything clearanced, again, we bolt everything up. two inner bolts started. And then our two outer bolts.
All right, now we'll throw the rotor on and bolt the caliper on. One thing we didn't mention earlier is the uh, the center bore on the VW Corrado uh, rotors. It's smaller diameter than the than the BMW, so you will have to have uh, machinist mill these out to 61 millimeter, so they have so they'll fit over your your center hub here. So there they are, and we'll throw the ro throw the caliper on, and we should be golden. One thing I didn't mention is uh, we did use lock washers on all the bolts that we installed, all four of them there. Um, brake bolts isn't something you exactly want to have her back out on you, so I'm very particular on making sure those have, have some kind of locking mechanism on them. And we did to go back, and we, it's not on film, but we torqued them to spec once they were done. She is bolted up. We'll get the pads on there in a second and show you the line adapters that we made. Um, one thing to be aware of on these, they are a millimeter thinner. If you can see this little edge right here. Um, we're running wheel spacers, so it's not going to be an issue with us. But just, uh, just so that you know, you may have to do something to make up for that gap. Okay. Whenever I was uh, figuring out this swap, wanting to do this, um, I wanted to figure out how to do it from stuff you can buy locally at your local part or parts store or Riley's, wherever you go to. Um, there's kits online you can spend a few bucks on and 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 have everything you need. But I wanted to kind of do it locally just to to see that it can be done, you know, on the cheap, out of out of any place, anywhere. So the adapter is what was giving me the most fits because the RX-7N is an inverted flare with metric threads. The BMW caliper is a bubble flare with metric threads. So basically what I did is I took a piece of bubble flare line that you can buy at any parts store and flared one end with the inverted flare and just put a metric nut in there. So basically this is what you're going to end up with with a union, something like this. You can shorten it up. This is just rudimentary just to show you the proof of concept. I took and used this same length and we're just going to put a little bend in it and attach it to the strut so it's nice and supported. So this is how you can make your own adapter without having to go buy one. I couldn't find any off the shelf anywhere in any catalog I could look at. Um, so off the shelf, local bought, you can make your own. And I probably have five dollars in the in this adapt in both sides, versus you know the cheapest I could find online was you know twenty five dollars for just the adapters. So save a few bucks, do it yourself. Just wanted to show you real quick the uh, we did it, run into some issues with that that little bit of offset change with the the different thickness in the hats here. Uh, I'll show, come in close. I'll show you on the spacer. Um, we did put a bevel here and we cut this edge out just a little to the right to the same diameter as this hub bore and we ended up having to cut this bevel in here to clear our our uh, grease cap just because everything is sitting one millimeter further in to where these fit perfectly before they were one millimeter off this time so with those on there nice and tight now you will note how far out this caliper sticks out uh, versus your other one. So you may want to be considerate of that whenever you're picking your wheels or if you're looking at doing this swap on your car. If your factory caliper is already really close to your spokes, you may want to um, consider going with either a spacer or changing your wheels out so you have enough clearance. Um, there's a lot of forums out there that talk about what wheels clear these and what wheels don't. Um, with our 17 by nines, with our 20 mil spacer, we're virtually running a zero offset. So we're 
actually a lot closer to that caliber than I thought we were going to end up being. But now everything's bolted up and fits. We're going to throw the tires back on it, get it back on the ground, and go test them out and uh, get you some results on the, uh, the stopping distances. All right, guys. Literally just pulled up at the shop after doing some stop tests. Um, we were able to shave about five to eight feet off of our stopping distance um, from previously. Um, all in all, not really satisfied with those results. I was hoping this would, would stop better. The pedal, it doesn't quite feel right with the four pots. I just don't think I'm quite moving the right amount of fluid. Um, I think we're going to go back in and revisit all this, maybe try a different master cylinder since we're running that dual master cylinder setup. Um, uh, I'm, I was, I'm running a less aggressive pad than I was before, so I think the next time I may come back with some... Uh, with, with the same pads I was running previously, the uh, track, the Axis Ultimates. Um, I really like that pad, so I think I may try to get a set of those and use those instead. I was trying to go a little bit lighter, more of a more of a street pad this time, but I'm just not, not happy with the results. Um, all in all, is it worth it for the two, three hundred dollars that you're gonna spend on this setup? I think so. Um, you, you guys that are running a power brake setup will probably get a better result than I am um, with this manual brake setup. It's just I just don't think it's quite tuned to the right size uh, caliper and such. Um, there's a whole lot of science behind all that. We won't get into that right now, but um, you know we showed you how to do it. It it does stop better. Um, for me, I'm not quite satisfied. I think we may come back, like we said, with a more aggressive pad. We may try some different master cylinders. Um, and depending on what money looks like, uh, we may go with like a big brake kit, a uh, big big brake kit from like uh, say Massive or UUC. Those guys make some nice stuff that's not outrageously expensive. Um, so uh, check us out on Facebook if you want to get your very own Blockheads T-shirt. Uh, we've got those there. We got a few extras left over. Um, other than that, uh, we've got a, a bunch of new videos coming up here soon. Uh, we got a road trip that will probably be coming out real soon that you're not going to want to miss. Uh, we've been talking about that for a while now, but um, that one is that one has been filmed. It's just waiting on edit and, and such. So, uh, other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.